Frontline was created in 1988 as a defence company to do aerospace machining. Over the years it bought some small supplies of automotive components and uh, at the moment we employ 135 people uh, with about a $40 million turnover last year in the, in the tough times and 70% of our volume is automotive accessories uh, which we only sell to the OEM suppliers, all the original equipment suppliers and 30% is defence. We do a lot of international benchmarking against low cost countries and find that to be competitive we have to be ahead of the curve uh, with the automation to supplement uh, low cost operators with technology and uh, robotics uh, is an essential element of that reduction in, in labour content. In our plant generally uh, all of the heavy and dirty jobs have been replaced with robots. It can improve safety requirements for the operators. They're flexible, they're quick, they're accurate, they're reliable and very flexible for our different applications. The improvements that we've seen in the cell that we recently installed the ABB robots, we've achieved a 43% improvement in labour productivity, uh, an actual 70% improvement in labour productivity compared with the previous supplier and the labour content is now down to less than 10% of the total cost of the product, which is highly acceptable even for a low-cost uh, country. The uh, robots are very accurate and we've been able to get excellent welding of the uh, different types of aluminium with, by, by being able to use the detailed movements of the robot and of course uh, we've been able to get excellent productivity and reliability. We have worked with CSF for about four years. So they have supplied consumable products for polishing. It's only recently that we sought to get them to integrate the full cells for the robots for the Toyota Bulbar. They have been a wonderful supplier. They have delivered on time, been available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, have carried spare parts and have been very responsible and reliable and first-class uh, organisation.